well today it's <laughs> actually I've been a bit lazy but um, I uh, have promised you a video on how to simply make your own EMP protection box to uh, take care of uh, necessary uh, electronic devices that you might need after a possible EMP blast from the sun. Um, the first thing that is important is uh, a dynamo radio. This one runs on both batteries but can also be run by a dynamo that is winded up like this. Um, it also has a torch. It's quite simple. It will cost you like 10 bucks at the most of a hardware store. Uh, you need this simply to assess the situation. Uh, you don't know if an EMP would have been uh, locally or internationally and you might want to have this ready to listen for a possible broadcast uh, out there. And just show you how this works. That's out of battery, so I have to light it up. Let's just turn it on. Dynamo. And those are about it. Anyway, this one can be charged as well. So, yeah. Be charged as well here. Now, I'm just going to turn it off. Um, it's an AMFM broadcaster, regular radio, so quite handy. Now, in order to make sure this one doesn't get destroyed by the EMP, you will have to protect it. And uh, how do you make an EMP protected box? It sounds like. Uh, the charge as well here. Now, I'm just going to turn it off. Um, it's an AM FM broadcaster, regular radio, so quite handy. Now, in order to make sure this one doesn't get destroyed by the EMP, you will have to protect it. And uh, how do you make an EMP protected box? It sounds like uh, high government science, but it really isn't. Um, this one is going in the box. My trusty solar charger, 10 bucks at the local camping store. You see it, it charges inside the house as well. It doesn't need that much light and you can have this on your backpack or wherever. And actually I, I never use um, power from the grid on my regular cell phone. I always charge my cell phone just with this one. I have I've done so for several weeks now. Um, this one can be used on the radio and on my um, hunting radio as well for possible communication with the locals. Um, another thing that I would like to put in my EMP safe box, just, just in case, this is a regular USB pen for storage and I keep pictures that are dated near to me of my kids, family, movie clips so on, things I, I don't want to lose because that is going to be wiped out from your laptop or where, where we keep it. But uh, I uh, update this now and then with the new pictures and keep it in the box so if <laughs> hopefully society will come back within I don't know, a few months, years, or whatever, or if it's just a local EMP, I will still have my pictures. A lot of people forget that. Well, things can get cleaned off your laptop quite easily, also by viruses or anything else. So, having a backup of uh, things that are important to you, like uh, pictures of kids, that's a good thing to have. So, this is going in as well, along with the extension cord from the, for the solar charger, so I can charge the radio. Although it's a dynamo and uh, Hunter's radio. Now, what do you need to make this box? Well, all you need is or anything else. So, having a backup of uh, things that are important to you, like uh, pictures of kids, that's a good thing to have. So, this is going in as well, along with the extension cord from the for the solar charger, so I can charge the radio. Although it's a dynamo and uh, Hunter's radio. Now, what do you need to make this box? Well, all you need is tin can actually. This one is uh, used to store cookies from kids for Christmas, but it works just fine. Now, how do you make sure that it works? Well, you make, have to make sure that it blocks out waves because EMP comes in waves. Okay, and it will have to be steel because you want the currents to travel along it, not inside. The way to test if it is uh, EMP proof is to first of all check that it has a lid. Uh, this one is uh, used to store 
cookies from Kiss for Christmas, but it works just fine. Now, how do you make sure that it works? Well, you make, have to make sure that it blocks out waves because EMP comes in waves. Okay, and it will have to be steel because you want the currents to travel along it, not inside. The way to test if it is uh, EMP proof is to first of all check that it has a lid that is closed in quite tightly. It does. And to make sure that no waves get in, we seem to use our radio. Just Yes. And we turn it on. Here we have a channel. Oh, well, it's blocking. Yeah. No signal whatsoever. Just static noise. No waves are getting in here. The radio can't pick it up. That means what can't get out of it also goes for the EMP. So this is EMP say. No. no waves. Okay. We get the concept. Now, it isn't really that simple because the EMP will produce a uh, burst of uh, voltage and this would go into the box of course on the inside as well and if this is in contact anyway it would go into the radio so the EMP box wouldn't really be that EMP proof so how do we ensure that the current can travel into our devices? Well I tend to use regular freezing bags the reason that I use freezer bags is that they have a higher amount of rubber which make them non-conductive and they last for much longer and they cost a few cents I usually wrap it in two, like this put the radio in here close it tightly another bag put it around tightly as well put it in, I'll do the same with the rest of my equipment I'll do it now, just because I want to make this video short but I'll keep all of my equipment in here in plastic bag, wrapping like this if I want to make 110% sure, I can put a black garbage bag, rubber bag, or something else around. I can even do this just to make it into actually. And I'll just store this, just store this in my garage or anywhere else when it doesn't really find a way. And in the case something happens, well, you have it, and it's 50 bucks. So that's including all the equipment. Now, of course. There's a limit to anything and also a limit to how uh, proof this one is. Uh, if a really strong EMP like for a military bomb, military class EMP should just go right over the house. Probably wouldn't protect it because it's simply too, too thin. But for a solar EMP this should be more than enough. Some people will swear by um, also sealing the lid. Simply to prevent current from traveling inside but it's just uh, no hope because it, it's going to get inside it anyway. But you could do this, then this would make the lid even more tight. So there you have it, an EMP proof box at less than $50 or so. And this is my EMP proof box and I would advise you to make your own, it's cheap and you, could, you see how fast you can make one. So I hope this was helpful and for more information about the EMP, go to my website.